Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's psychic practice. It's a hypnotic meditation. And this one is all about taking your psychic skills inward and seeing important things about yourself. Today's meditation is called a gift from your inner wisdom. And it will indeed be a gift that you can use every single day. So get comfortable. This is a brief meditation. It is hypnotic in nature. So I ask that you don't drive or work while listening to this. You can access the recording if you are unable to close your eyes and listen. Otherwise, I would recommend you close your eyes and listen. I'm Ruth Wilson. I am an intuitive coach, and that means I use my intuition to help you find and use your intuition for self-improvement and self-empowerment. And so today we're going to get a gift from your inner wisdom that empowers you in beautiful ways. So get comfortable, make sure that your body is comfortable in the chair that you're in or whatever furniture you are situated on. Take a nice, deep, easy, easy, quiet breath and let it out gently. And let your eyes close if that's comfortable. You don't have to close them, but it, it may be the most comfortable way to proceed. And let your shoulders just relax. Wiggle your fingers and toes, make sure they're in comfortable position and let them relax. And get ready to be comfortable and go within for the next 20 or 30 minutes. Breathe gently and deeply. Listen to my voice. You can listen to my words. You don't have to listen to my words. You can do something entirely different with your mind and it's okay. My words will guide you safely to a place where you can get your inner knowledge. The important thing is to relax to relax and be comfortable. Long about now, you may find that you need to adjust the way you're sitting or adjust your posture in some way. If you need to move to get comfortable, just do it. And take another breath, another nice deep one that as you let it out, just releases any thoughts from today. And on your next exhale, you may find that tension is leaving your body. It may be tension you didn't even know you had. Let it go. And then you may find that your body feels lighter, like it could float away 
sometimes people find that their body feels heavier. It can sink into the chair. Feel the energy, the source energy that comes from heaven. Just pretend you can see it pouring into the top of your head. It's gold. It's neutral. It's divine. It fills you up. It flows through your channels in your body and around your body goes down your back and up your front, fountains out of your head, flows around your body. Notice how your personal space and your aura are just a beautiful gold color, beautiful energetic gold, maybe a tinge of pink, a lovely divine color that fills you with the energy you need fills you with life force and flows around you. Notice too that you have a grounding, a field that connects you from your tailbone right down into the center of the earth. Anything that is fast at sell by date in your, in your space can just drift down through that grounding field and into Mother Earth, she knows what to do with it. She will recycle it. It's just energy. And just notice how your feet are connected to the earth. You may have your feet on the floor. Even if you don't, they're still connected to the earth. You have energy centers in your feet that take in energy from the earth the earth which supports you and me and all of us. Enjoy feeling comfortable now and feeling your easy, gentle breathing, your relaxed body, if anything isn't relaxed, give it permission to relax and give yourself permission to have the gifts that you are going to receive in this meditation. Give yourself 100% permission to have the good stuff that you can receive in this meditation. If your eyes are closed, or if your eyes are not closed, just pretend you can see maybe two feet in front of you. Pretend you can see a full length mirror. You can't really see what's in the mirror yet but there's this mirror in front of you. It doesn't have to be visualized perfectly. You don't even have to see it perfectly. Just pretend that it's there and that you are aware of it and you can perceive it. So, What you're going to see in this mirror is you, not the physical you that you see in the mirror every day, probably, but you, the real you, the true you, your soul. Now, as you look at this mirror and let your eyes focus on 
the reflection of your soul. Just see what comes to mind and let it be whatever it is. You may see something that looks just like you always look. You might see energy centers. You might see swirls of color. You might see a stick figure. You could see just a big blob of light. Just pretend that you can see your soul and see what it looks like. Focus on it in your mind's eye and let it resolve into whatever it is. It may change, it may move, it may change all the time, it may be very stable. Of what I'm certain is that it is beautiful. It is clear. It is bright. And it's uplifting. So let yourself see this. Let this resolve into an image of you an image of your soul and just see it. Enjoy the feeling, just enjoy the feeling of connecting with your soul in this way and connecting in a way that is not interrupted or, or affected by other people, other things, what you think about yourself, your opinions, your, your fears, your worries. This is just you. This is you at the heart of you. Just enjoy it. And no, this is the part of you that's magic. This is the part of you that is miraculous. This is the part of you that can do everything perfectly for you. And not perfectly according to some worldly standards, but perfectly for you. So know that there is a perfect for you way of things being. Things that make you happy, things that make you comfortable, things that give you power. Energies that work for you, energies that bring you health and healing and happiness and love. Look at this image of you and your soul and its beauty and just see how it is comprised of love. Not the love we sing about in popular songs, but the love that fills the universe. The field in which we live and see how that love constellates around your core, takes on its own configuration and individuality as you. And just, let's just, Appreciate that soul a little bit right now and appreciate the fact that it, to the extent you can find things that make you happy in life, that part of you is helping you. That part of you is doing it. To the extent that you find 
good things to do, great places to be, people to be with that you love, things that make you feel good, things that you do that are gifts to the world, things that you are capable of providing that are your very unique gifts to the world. Just appreciate all that. As you appreciate it, the image may change. It may clarify. It may become more cloudy. It could be more distinct. It may change. Whatever it does, pretend you can see it and know that it's showing you something important about yourself, but it's something you might not consciously understand right now. At this time, you wanna ask your miraculous, magical soul self, question, a question that you would like to know the answer to. If you don't know already what your magic talent is, I'd urge you to ask your soul self what it is. And even if you think you do, you might get very good information by asking your soul self, what is my magical talent? What is my special skill? What is my power? It may come to you in a number of different ways. It may come to you in one, one way or another. It may come to you as a power, a skill, a talent. Just let it be whatever the soul self wants to answer. So listen now. Listen very carefully. Take in what the answer was. Take in what this magic talent is. If you didn't get an answer, did you get a feeling? If you didn't get an answer or a feeling, matters not. You'll get something in the next day. Something will pop up in the next day to give you the information. So thank this part of yourself for giving you information. Ask it if it has any other information for you. Are you looking for a bit of advice? Are you looking for direction? Ask for the most authentic way for you to proceed. Here again, you may get the information right now. You may not get the information right now. You may get it tomorrow afternoon. You could get a message from a song on a radio on the radio, or you could see a billboard that tells you something important. Or you could have an answer right now. It could be in clear, unmistakable English. It could be just a feeling. Just let it be whatever it is. Let everything be okay. So the way you see yourself in this image, the way you're getting responses to your questions, the information you've picked up, the information you want to pick up, let it all be okay, because it is. It is all absolutely okay. 
this part of you knows what is okay for you, what is the best for you, what is ideal for you. Even if you don't understand it, if it doesn't make sense, you may think, oh my gosh, how can I do that? Whatever, just know that it's all okay. And everything is unfolding just as it should. Just as it should. Enjoy that. It's true. It's true. We're taught everything else but that, but it's true. Everything is unfolding just as it should. Sometimes we understand. Sometimes we don't. Okay. We're going to take in all the good feelings from this experience and we're going to anchor them into your body so that you carry them with you after this session. So I'm going to ask you to take your dominant hand and place it over your heart and breathe in all the good feelings that you can breathe in from your soul self. And I want you to breathe in the magic. I want you to breathe in the miracles. I want you to breathe in that connection with your most authentic self, your basic self. Remove your hand and relax. And I want you to open your eyes and then blink and let the mirror disappear. Let the image disappear, let it be gone, let it drift away. Let it vanish, whatever it wants to do, it could go away. And bring you back to your awareness of your physical body and your energy body around you. Your connection to heaven and earth. Notice your grounding that goes from your tailbone to the center of the earth and let go of anything that got stirred up that you don't need anymore. If any energies or thoughts or concerns or problems got stirred up in this meditation, let them just drift out of your space and into the earth. It's just neutral energy in the earth and mother earth can recycle it for you. You don't need it in your space. Let your space fill up with that connection to your true self. And lastly, we want to anchor or trigger the anchor of the good feelings, energies, and ideas that you had with your soul self. So what we do is we recall all the information and feelings and energy that we anchored in. And you do that by putting your hand on your chest. Only have to do it for a second. And you can do it anytime you want. Nobody notices if you go like this for a minute, for a second, for a brief moment. And it instantly recalls the anchor that we set for our connection to our soul selves. It recalls those feelings and those energies. If you want to hang on to that anchor, use it a few times in the next day. 
and then you can rely on it anytime you want to come back to this part of yourself. I would like you now to take a nice deep breath again. Let it out, just relax. There's nothing you need to do, nothing you need to think of, nowhere you need to go right this minute. You can just wiggle your fingers and toes as you gently, gently, gently come back into your normal state of being. And I will invite you, if I can offer you any assistance of this sort, with hypnotic meditations, with psychic practice, to contact me. And it's easy. You can find me at ruth-wilson.com. And you can... Click into my calendar and you can set up a free session with me if you like. And I promise you, if you set up such a session with me, we will in maybe 15, 20, 25 minutes, we can find out what is necessary for you to make the change you want. And we can change your energy around this, whatever it is that you want to change. And you'll leave with really strong clarity about what your next step should be. So if you need to get a hold of me, please do so. Go to my website and schedule an appointment with me and see if I can be of help to you. You will benefit even from the free appointment, I can, I can promise you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being open to my hypnotic meditation. Wiggle your body a little bit. Move your shoulders. Open your eyes if they're not already open. Stretch. And sometimes it can help to bend over one way and bend over the other and sort of shake off any excess energy that might have accumulated in the top of your head. And have a wonderful, wonderful day connected to your soul self and be well.